Alright, so I'm in 3DS Max looking at Arnold. The standard surface should have a sheen, and I'm not seeing it. So I'm going to see if I can update and fix this issue. Okay, so as I stated, I didn't have the sheen um, in my Arnold standard material. So I went ahead and went to the Arnold site and downloaded the update. Installed it. So I just unzipped and installed it, and now when I open up the standard material for Arnold, I have my sheen. And we're going to need the sheen to do our, um, really our fabric, and get a real nice fabric. Okay, so I have my scene here with one Arnold light, and my fabric. And I'm just going to do a render. I have a standard Arnold material put on. And we're going to look at how to make this material um, work better for fabric. Just a little closer here. So, like I said, I just applied the material. And this is my standard surface. I'll just apply another one to show you. Right click Material, Arnold, Surface, Standard Surface. And again, I was not seeing my sheen, so I updated my Arnold. Um, make sure that the cloth is selected, and I'm just going to apply material to selection. You can also right click and assign material to selection. And then I'm going to double click to load it. And what we're going to be adjusting here is your base color and then your sheen. So I'm going to put a base color on, and when you have the sheen, that affects the grazing angle so as things are going away from you and our base color is going to be the surfaces st straighter on to the camera so something like this so we're just gonna put the color on here let's do a purple a lot darker So right now, without changing anything else, I just have this very shiny purple. It almost looks like a, a rubber. And what we're going to do is come in and, again, we have our base color. I'm going to go in my general for my specular and set that to zero, because we don't want any specular. Instead, we want to use the sheen. And then for all these other things, I can close them down. And when I get the sheen, this is where I want to put um, the color we're looking for. So right now I'm just going to add some sheen. If I go up to 1 and then render, we're going to get a lot of sheen over the surface. So as we lower this, we're contracting it to the grazing angle. So if I go down to something like 0.01, we hardly see any. And then point 0.1, we're going to get a lot more introduced along the edge. So it's really adjusting our settings here that are going to give us the, the feeling of different types of uh, really feltiness or terry cloth to our our material. So right now I have the roughness set for 3, or excuse me, 0.3, and I might bring that down a little bit. It's 0.1, and now we end up with it closer to the edge, and we're getting less on the surface. So I'm going to go and change this color for the sheen. I'm going to copy my base tone, paste it into the sheen, and then go and lighten it up. Oops, I have the wrong one selected right now. Lighten it up here. I made that a little darker, that's fine. I actually want to go a little wider with this. And again, as I make my adjustments to the sheen, 
I'm going to be pulling it further across and making it a little softer with the um, with the roughness. So bring it up to three. See how it's feeding across and lightening up all the fabric. Pull this up. We're going to get a lot more sort of that felty feel. If we take a look at this, it, it does have more of a fabric feel than we had before. So I'm just going to go back and adjust this slightly to pull this back. So we will say point one five. And then maybe I'll tuck this down a little. And again, just making these adjustments, you can get a different feel for your fabrics. We can also go in and put in a texture. So I do have one texture, it's not great. I'm going to put it into the sheen. I could put it in the sheen roughness or into the, um, into the color. But I'm just going to come in and go into maps, general, grab a bitmap. And in here, I have just a, it's really a noise I created. And I know the map size is 1K, and I do need to scale it a bit. So I'm just going to come into Sheen and drop it into the Sheen. And I'm going to increase this roughness up to 3. Let's make a little more of this color. And crossed. Like I said, it's, it's a really big pattern. I'm going to have to get in there and play with it a little. So... I'm going to go 30 by 30 and take a look. And you'll see we're getting that pattern across. And I can play with this a bit more, but that's how you can break up the, the sheen with a, a fabric. I should go much higher with this. Do 60 by 60. I didn't spend a lot of time on the fabric and texture. Just wanted to put something in there so you could see the difference. And let's stop that and pull back. And of course, you can also put the pattern into um, your base color. But that will just turn it to gray, so you'd need to use a color node to make that adjustment. But this is how you do a basic material in Arnold.